welcome you to how are you guys guys is tota fi kesumota ken iddo kanat argamtan good afternoon good journalists and our invited guests who are here today arra kanat fayadame sefondura abade rakina ummata biye kenya motuma etopia tin uma jiru fi lafasara buqa jiru I would like to take this opportunity to speak to you about uh, the suffering of my people, people who are being displaced from their land, people are, who are being killed for asking for their basic rights. I am very happy to stand before you as their voice. Sanadura Garu, Namota, Kanandura, Yerom Brazil, Jiru. But before I do that, I want to thank everyone who helped me along the way since my protest, uh, organizations and people who have been very supportive. First, I would like to thank the Brazilian government. I'm forever grateful for, uh, for, to them for coming to me and assuring that I will be safe and I could walk around freely and safely without feeling uh, 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 that, uh, that I would be unsafe. Ummata Brazil, morally, I'm not going to be able to do this. I would like to also thank the Brazilian people for their warm hospitality and for the moral boost that they provided when I needed the most. I'm also grateful for the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Brazil for helping facilitate my trip to the United States. I also want to thank the Oromo people and all people of Ethiopia for reaching out to me and encouraging me and telling me uh, how my gesture impacted them. Media le gurgudo adunya gav sam bakka nani argame sanati argamani gavasa kana achifu lani gurra umata adunya hatujamu otuma Ethiopia umata kenya kenya ranga juro kana. I also would like to thank the international media for uh, sending my message to the to the readers and around the world and for amplifying my voice uh, about the suffering of my people in Ethiopia. It is not just me that is grateful and thankful for what you've done. It is the entire people of Ethiopia whose voice was repressed, and you gave them a voice and uh, in, in shone a bright light on their story. Uh, I would like to also t thank my family for uh, raising me with Oromo values, with, with courage, and, and helping me have the kind of courage that led to my protest. But also, uh, uh, I also want to thank them f for uh, encouraging me in, in making sure that uh, they are okay, and, and, and they are so that I don't worry so much about them. Go fund the journey. Malaka can any one is of Iraq and Nevka, Walletin, Nafunan, Doctor Salomon Gushefi, Namoni Malaka and Walletin, Nafunan, and Hundakis and Galenkis and Gudat. There was also a GoFundMe campaign that was started by my name without me asking for it. I would like to thank especially Dr. Salomon Ungashe and everyone who donated to that campaign for their support. Namoni 
Good I evening. also want to thank uh, three evening, people who friend. traveled to Brazil uh, to be with me and help me uh, until I got to this place. Uh, their names are Cafalo, Lalisa Hika, and Baisa Gamachu for traveling all the way to Brazil and, and helping me uh, during my stay there. I'm an athlete, I run long distance. Uh, running has uh, allowed me to travel long. Beyond that, it has also allowed for me to be the voice of my people. Running is life, is life for me. It is also how I make a living. So I would like, I would look forward to continuing to rest and, and continue to pursue my dreams. Let me say a few things about the situation in Ethiopia at the moment. At the moment, the Ethiopian government is killing, imprisoning, repressing its own people. The situation in Oromia, Amhara, and Gambela region is deeply concerning at the moment. Uh, I'm an Oromo, I grew up in Oromia, the uh, Oromo are the largest ethnic group, so I understand the suffering of my people very well. So far, the government has opened fire uh, on peaceful protesters who are asking for their rights, and more than 1,000 people have been killed in the protests. Others have been forced into exile and have died and have been slaughtered in the desert, deserts of Libya. Uh, many more uh, have become food for fish in the Mediterranean Sea. The events of the past nine months in Ethiopia are unprecedented, something that we have not imagined. The victims include a pregnant woman, uh, children as young as nine old, elderly as, as old as 80 years old. In Ethiopia, in Ethiopia today, only the superiority one ethnic group is respected, that is the Tigrayan ethnic group. Today in Ethiopia, the people who can get all the good jobs are at Tigrayan elites. Tigrayans hold the key positions of power in Ethiopia today. Ethnic Tigrayans are today the ones that are uh, interrogating, interrogating Ethiopian people, killing Ethiopian people, and displacing farmers from their land and harvesting or investing in their land for themselves. Uh, the land in Oromia is very expensive today, so they are displacing people, the locals, so that they can invest or uh, harvest it for themselves. It is not only in Oromia, if you take the Amara in the north, the, the, they share borders with Tigray, and they are uh, taking land away from the Amhara region and, and to the Tigrayan uh, region, Tigray region. 
hidu odon ten ajesu dan lafasa ni rabak kesani lafasa ni fasan tikota chaji in gambella they are displacing people killing people so that they can uh, give it to investors or invested uh, themselves halikun halakan halikun halakan an yo kan itifu fatai if this situation continues as it, as it is balan gudam biya sana kisa takadu fu shakisi santa I have no doubt that Ethiopia is staring at the abyss. You are going to see a great tragedy unless the international com community intervenes and, and helps bring about a change in that country. I am personally very fearful that this is going to take an ethnic dimension. You are going to see a Rwanda-like scenario where ethnic groups will turn on each other. It is important that the international community understands the gravity of the situation, they intervene, so that we don't have to go there. For example, the US government is a close ally of Ethiopia. A US ally should not be killing our people. Like my people, Americans are peace-loving people. I ask the American people to urge their government to tell the Ethiopian government to respect their, their rights and, and allow us to live in peace. Let there be no doubt, if this does not happen, the, the situation is only going to be, get worse. Thank you very much. I will take your questions.